Yo, this is Noah Cuz. Welcome back to the Split Mind channel. A couple days ago, Jason, who's in Split Mind, he's an AR at Sony. He hit up the group chat and he was like, Yo, I need your five best loops for Yeet. And I realized I didn't even have five Yeet loops in my name total. I just kind of like neglected making this kind of music. I don't know why. But I was like, Nah, can't have that. I need to have everything. I need to be sending out everything. So yeah, for the last week, I've just been making Yeet shit. So I figured I'd drop a video of me making it today. You already heard the beat in the intro, and now you're about to see me make it from scratch. So yeah, let's get it. All right. So when I make these beats, I typically make them around 140 BPM. I'm just gonna change it to make it a little bit different. All right, so when you're making melodies for yeet, sound selection is pretty important. You don't want to start with like weak yeet sounds, if that makes sense. Like you want to you start with good ones. A few people that I recommend for kits are Synthetic, Emar, and Sunboy. I'm going to be using their presets in this video. So I'm just going to get started with a synth from Sunboy. Kind of like that one. I'm gonna change the synth sound. All right, so this is fire. I'm gonna add a lead. Maybe I'll have it come in like this because it kind of fades in. That's hard. Maybe bring the volume down just a little bit. I'm gonna copy this over and maybe bring it down an octave. See how these sound together. All right, so now I'm gonna go into Serum and grab a couple of leads. I'm gonna go into Emar and Synthetics Kit and just try to find a lead sound. I want something kind of piercing. This one sounds good. All right, I'm gonna try recording these in. That second one was rough, but we'll work with it. I got the basic idea down though. I'm gonna do Alt Q on these ones but I'm not going to quantize it all the way, just some. That's fire, now I'm going to try to find a bass sound. I want something really digital sounding for this loop. That would be fire. Now I'm going to grab another lead from Serum. This one I want to be a little bit more subtle. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna copy and paste the same lead pattern that I did earlier. Maybe pitch it down an octave. Hard.
fire. I'm just gonna grab one more sound now. Yo, this is necessary for sure. I'm gonna mute the bass and just add this in. All right, so now that I have all the sounds, I'm gonna put these on their own mixer tracks and start mixing them. For these two leads, I'm actually gonna put them on the same mixer track and process them together. I'm gonna add Loop Raider to this first sound. It's just big as hell on my screen. I'm gonna go to Chase Vibes, Loop Raider presets. I don't even know if he ended up dropping this, but these are like the only presets that I use in Loop Raider. Next, I'm just gonna use an EQ. I'm gonna use this FabFilter Pro Q3 with this Bandpass Narrow preset and just filter out a band of the highs and the mids, cutting out the lows. I'm gonna do the same thing on this main lead. Next, I'm gonna add a chorus plugin. I like to use this plugin called Centaurus. All right, so this is super hard. I'm gonna start structuring this out now. All right, so I just set up an intro, a hook, and then a verse, and then a bridge, which is just the same thing as the intro. Now I'm just gonna start throwing some drums on this. I'm gonna go to my stash kit. I'm gonna make this a clap pattern as well, just to bounce back and forth between them. For hi-hats like Yeet, you don't really want, just wanna do fill two step. You kinda wanna do these like regular step rolls throughout the entire thing, but I'm gonna try to make it more unique. This is the kind of bounce you wanna go for. All right, just because I think this is starting to clip for you guys, I'm gonna put my master preset on, which is really just T-Rex Classic Clipper right here. And then I put it on the plus six dB soft clip preset. And this is the only thing that I put on my master. I'm gonna throw some open hats in now. I wanna switch up the snare one part, so I'm gonna go into my drum kits and go into Steven's stash kit. Just grab a snare that he has in here. It's this die lit one, it's so fire. I'm gonna mute these other snares real quick.
Yeah, this already hit. So to mix my 808, I have my velocity all the way up and then I have it at a decent volume on the sequencer. But then on the mixer track, you can see I have it peaking at like, that's just over zero dB. And when you use this preset on the classic clipper with these settings, it sounds perfect. The distortion sounds really good. All right, so for the drum structuring, I'm just gonna split these by channel. So I want that die lit snare to come right in on the drop. So I'm gonna keep that one in. I'm gonna delete the other snare on the clap. I'm gonna take out these open hats for the first part keep them in for the second so next i'm going to take out this die lit snare for the verse and then for the first half of the verse i'll have the regular snare second half i'm just gonna have the clap for the verse i'm going to take out the 808 in the first two bars and instead of this open hat coming in right on the drop i'm going to move it to where the 808 comes in and then delete these other two open hats and let's see what this verse drop sounds like <laughs> i'm also going to cut out the hi-hats for this part Fire. That's a hit. It's a fire ass beat right there. All right, so yeah, that's the whole cook up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said earlier, I never make yeet loops, so this was definitely a challenge for me, but I think it turned out fire. Let me know what you guys thought about this beat in the comments and let me know what you want to see next. Thank you all for watching. I'm out. Peace.